Good morning, everyone, and I love it because I am starting a few minutes early, so I can say this. So, happy birthday, Sophia! I just want to get that out there. I know you're in the land of magic at Disney World for your birthday today, so I at least want to get that out before I even get started this morning. All right, or soon to be afternoon. <laughs> so. Today is pretty much going to be short and simple because we are going to take up the leftover pieces that we've had from the previous two weeks and we're going to make some simple 3x3 three three cards that are great and cute to be able to give us a thank you or just a nice little note. Today I'm going to use thank you because we have so many things to thank people for. You know, it doesn't have to be a gift, you can just make somebody's day. So that's what we're going to focus on today, short and simple, because that's what I want it to be for you. All right? So with that, let's go down to the hands. I never forget to be sure to like and share us and share with others and create with others. All right? Let's do this. Let's go down to the hands. So as we look at this, this is what we've had left over from the previous two weeks. And if you're out there, please say hello. Or if you do replay, say hello. Nana always likes that. I always like to say hi back if I can. So we have this. This is actually... From the box, it's a thicker type of tissue wrapping that we're going to use, like we did before. And these are actually pieces that we cut off the bottom of our pumpkins from the previous weeks. And I'll show you. Here's a little tag right here. We cut this off when we use the other pieces. All right, so these are left over from before, and these are the leaves from before that we stamped and we didn't use. So that's why I always tell you to save the stuff because we can use it later. So today, like I said, this is going to be short and simple. So I'm actually going to do this in this way here, because you can always turn your cards. See, the reason is I can turn the card this way. I can have it this way. But I'm going to do it like this, because that way you can send somebody a nice little thank you note, and it's going to be this way right here. It's simply a 3x3 three three card. It's done from, I'll use it right here for you. You can see from 8 to 11, that's 3 inches. And then when I turn this sideways, Got it on 6 to 12, that's 6 inches, so that's all this is. Our, our kit did not come with cardstock, so we made cardstock, okay? So it's very easy to do. So all we're going to do today is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to take this here. Now I'm just going to do it two different ways. One, I'm going to do this here, and all I'm going to use is a glue dot. And I have those handy. And we're going to do this right here. So it is exciting. Today is Sophia's birthday. And she is at the House of Mouse. So it is an exciting day for her day. Not only is she five years old. And having fun at the House of Mouse. Yes. There's not a glue dot. So yes, these are just like simple. You know what? You can make these with any kind of paper. I was just showing you how you can make it with this. From the paper pumpkin kit again. Um, I might, when the next kit comes out, size the cardstock down for you just to show you. So if you want to size it down, you could. All right, so that's all we're going to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. And the reason why I'm going to stamp this is we have choices, and I sort of already made those choices. I decided I was going to do one like this. Again, this is left over, and one like this. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp first. So I need to first decide where I want this. And do I want this here? And I actually use, this is actually white, white, let's see if I can say that white, right. White cardstock here. And I'm going to do one on vanilla cardstock to show you the difference. All right, so that's where I'm going to put this one. I'm just going to cross over just a little bit. And I'm going to put thank you. So I'm going to stamp my thank you first because I'm going to put it up here. And I already pre-stamped it in two different colors so you could see it. So here is a Evergreen, Evening Evergreen. And this actually came in a previous kit. Uh, I don't have my little spot, so I'm going to use my larger ones handy. And then I also did it in, this is Espresso, Early Espresso, which is a dark, I call it like a dark chocolate brown. So both of them are very pretty with all the fall colors. So I'm going to do one with this one. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. So I have my block ready. And all we're going to do is stamp it. And then we're going to put our fall leaf on here. I think I just got 
green ink on my hand, which is okay. What do you expect to happen when you're dealing with ink? All right, so there we go, and I just have to clean my stamp. Keep your stamps clean because I'm going to use it again. Now I'm just going to use. I can. I don't have to use a dimensionals. Uh, I could do it, but I think I am. I'm going to sit up there, and I'm just going to use some tape on this one, and then I'm going to use a dimensional on the leaf. And it's just because I can. I don't have to. I could put dimensionals on this. I don't have to put dimensionals on anything because it's just beautiful fall colors out of the kit. For time's sake, I just sit there and use the tape runner and set my blue dots in the kit. And I'm going to put this on a dimensional. And you can do that leaf any way you want. I'm going to do mine like this. And look you there. It's just thank you. It's simple. I'm going to use a little glue dot. I did a glue dot there. Okay. I'm going to trim that. If I don't like that, I'm going to borrow, let's see. I guess I'll have to borrow these scissors. My handy dandy scissors aren't here. The ones I like to use. They're super sharp. Okay. I'm going to look you there. We got now a very simple thank you note. That's one. All right. We're going to make one more. And we're going to do this one with chocolate brown. And again, we're just using the leftover pieces. I'm going to use this cream colored cardstock here. Same thing. It's three by six inches. And I have choices. I thought I would move this one up this time instead of having it down there. And same thing. I can just as easily have my paper here or I could put other color ribbon. But I just wanted to use the stuff in the, the paper pumpkin kit. This is Harvest Haunts Paper Pumpkin. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to turn my leaf any way I want to. I'm not sure if I want that one or I'm going to want the brown one. Let's see here. Hmm. Let me just do a little more swapping around here. I thought I had this the way I wanted it. Let's try this. Just trying to really make those colors pop. And for whatever reason, I'm not getting what I'm searching for, or what I think I'm searching for. So let's just try this. We don't even have to do any of that. I can just pop this leaf up here. I could just put this down here and say thank you. All right? Let's just do that. That's very nice, very simple. And that's what I'm trying to do today is to make sure that this is simple. Because it's all leftovers. Uh, like I said, then it can be simple. And I really like this paper here that came in the kit. It was actually, like I said, it was the wrapping. Because it always comes wrapped like a gift. <laughs> but this one, was it wasn't as uh, lightweight as the others were. So it's very, very easy to use. And not have to worry about ripping it. So... If I wanted a tear effect, I guess I could rip it, but I don't have to. Ah, just a second, that one's supposed to come off. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to put that on a dimensional. Okay, and I, you know what, I can just do it like this if I want to. And then I'm going to do it in the chocolate brown. And I really should have done that first like I did a while ago. But I got excited because I sat there and changed it. I really like it. So there you go. Let's see how this is going to go for us. It's an us thing because you're watching and I'm live too. Oh, well, there you go. Now, so for me right now, I like it, but it's a little plainer than I originally had planned. So, I believe what I'm going to do, let's see what it looks like. I really had planned on originally having that other color, but I didn't really care for it. See how I'm just overnight or change of anything, it looks different. You don't like that. I don't really want that. 
You know what though? I like that. So I am going to sit there. Let's see if I can put this right behind here and see if that'll work too. See if I hang it both my way. Let's see what we think. What we think. Hmm. I am so low at the moment. So I am going to go right like that. Because I like it. Okay. And because I've got the one on a larger dimensional, I'm going to use a smaller dimensional. So I still have my height. And I'm actually going to put one on each side of the leaf here. And it holds it down. It holds the ribbon-like here, paper, ribbon-like paper here, right and on the other side. It'll hold it down too, so it's not going anywhere. Yeah, and looky here. Just gonna slide it back under, and there you go. And now we got a very nice, simple card that you can write a message to. And again, I'm gonna borrow these scissors. My techie's gonna get after me because I didn't have my other scissors and right please so I don't know where they're at. I forgot them. Somebody borrowed them. Alright, there you go. So we have made two very simple cards. And we made they all what we have from leftover from the previous week. This is on very vanilla cardstock. Six inches by three inches and folded in half to give a three by three. And this is white. So you can see the differences in colors. And we did it a little bit differently. They're just cute little thank you notes. So that is it. That is brief and to the point. And getting two little cute cards in today with Paper Pumpkin. So with that, we're going back to the face. Nana wants to thank you for joining in today because it was very brief and very simple because we'd already saved everything from the previous weeks. So just goes to show you how quickly you can make a little a card that's cute, little, and you can give to somebody else and make their day. Whether it's a thank you, hello, whatever message you want to put on it, there's no excuse for you not to be able to make a cute little card and give to someone special and make their day. All right? So be sure to like and share this video and like us here on Facebook and YouTube and all the other social medias are on. We'd really appreciate that. We enjoy sharing and we want them to keep letting us keep on going. All right. So have a very blessed day, a blessed week, and have some adventure in this. We've got beautiful fall weather and enjoy it and go and create and have fun with someone. All right. See you next week. Bye.